Hi. Welcome back again to my um, to my channel. And in this video, me and my classmate Malvina, we decided to talk about um, living in Welland because I know a lot of you have commented and messaged me about um, cost of living here in Welland, jobs available here in Welland. So we're gonna talk about that in a bit. So if you if you if this topic excites you then please like this video and share it to your friends and subscribe to my channel so so here we are walking it's fall season but it feels like winter it's neg it's negative it's four degrees this is like one malvina is helping me to carry the stroller thank you very much so first topic we will talk about is living in welland so we both live in Welland for one year now, right? Yeah. Yeah, uh, one year. And what can you say about Welland in general? Are you interviewing me? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. It's a quiet city if you like quiet life. Yeah. Um, yeah, quiet city, quiet. And it's close. It was close to our college. That's why we choose to live in Welland. Mm -hmm. But you don't need to travel if you go to school. Well, you need to take the bus, however. <laughs> uh, you, you, but but me, I, I just walk. Yeah, 15 minutes in minus 15 degrees. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you can <help> <laughs> and um, the jobs. Okay, what what can you say about the jobs? Well, in my viewpoint, there is not a lot of job opportunities. Uh, well, this is a very small city, around 60,000 people, and. The competition is so high because all the students are here or right. live here because of the college, international students. Yeah. There are only some big companies which can hire you, like Walmart, but even there it takes so much time and so long to get him to get hired. At least yeah. for me. And if you don't have connections here, yeah, it's us. It's like yeah. just having good luck. Yeah, let me add something to that because for me and my, uh, for my personal experience, that's her experience. For my personal experience, um, living in Welland, it's very, it's a slow community. Um, there's not a lot of jobs available because here it's it's like a retirement place. Yeah, that's a retirement here. Yeah, I mean it's a nice place to live, is it? I would call so, guys. Yeah, it's, it's a nice it's place to live life. if you want a quiet life. But if you're an international student wanting to, like, um, enhance or boost your career and experience here in Canada, it's not, I, I don't think it's a good place. Yeah. And if you want a job, then there are a lot of jobs in St. Catharines and Niagara Falls. Yeah, you, all your jobs were in Niagara Falls. Yeah, all my jobs are in Niagara Falls and she got skilled job in St. Catharines. After getting one year of study, yay! Yeah. Congratulations! <laughs> and she didn't have to take another one year course for that. Um, yeah. Yeah, so well and um, you can get jobs here but only few jobs available, like menial jobs, you know, like... Or in a home care. Yeah, retirement home care. Homes, if you are a PSW, yeah, then you can be Yeah, to but and super, what? super, like, what do you call it? What I would say is that <laughs> if you come and live in well, at least you consider having a driving license and a car. Yeah, you need to have a car, but I don't have a car, so it's really hard for me to, like, to get Public around. Public transportation is yeah, it's public transportation here is. I, we hate it. I mean, it's she. A pain. Yeah, it's a pain in the ass. <laughs> I mean, it's every hour or every thirty minutes to an hour, and they shut down at nine p.m. Last yeah, bus. Nine, I think now we the car on I don't know. Nine or uh, oh wait, or eight. Yeah, they shut down the bus some at eight or nine. Yeah, some of the buses are done. Let's see. Is she okay? Yeah, she is. Yeah, and when um, because I I tried exploring Mississauga City, Toronto, Ottawa, and the buses there stops at one a.m. starts at four a.m. and here in Welland it's yeah it's you have to go to yes, super at seven a.m. o'clock you can not have the bus yeah 
that that was my problem because i i start working before at 7 a.m and there was no bus at that time so i had to take a taxi my first job i had to take three buses and i spent an hour and a half to travel to work and yeah. an hour and a half to come back so mm consider having the car yeah the but license. but the price what do you say about the price of so the can, cost of living like let's start with the house i think it's the same in well same Catherine. yeah same in downtown it's same in niagara falls as well i or feel cheaper. like or cheaper in yeah. niagara falls when i was looking for uh, it's same so better if you stay in Niagara Falls. So I, I'm not really sure why some other people still choose to stay in Welland. Maybe because they had a job like me. I had a job and I could only my job so I just to leave well, Welland. When I, I had the opportunity to take my home. Yeah, but I heard people are saying that it's cheaper here. Yeah, I don't see any difference of the prices. I don't see. But if you're someone who's living in Welland and you have a reason to live here then please comment down below so we might as well share that to the viewers and also um so let's go to the cost of living and prices of the goods and grocery utilities well if you're living in ontario wherever you are wherever town wherever city it's all the same because they are the same <laughs> Yeah. Prices everywhere. Food prices yeah. everywhere. So they have standard prices. Yeah, standard prices. Um, what else? What else, guys? You need to know about Thailand. By the way, I'm planning to do a Q and A question, um, Q and A vlog. So if you have questions, comment down below, and I'll make separate video for that. Have you done for tips how to find a job? Oh, I. I... I made that already, <laughs> but it's not getting any viewers, so it's fine. <laughs> I, I mean, I'm happy to share my experiences with these people. It's okay. Yeah. What else do you think they need to know about living in Welland? Um, IT jobs. Well, someone messaged me, how about the IT jobs here in Welland? Well, as, we, as I said, <laughs> it's very slow here, so I don't think there's an IT jobs here. Maybe in St. Catherine's. Maybe in St. Catherine's, yeah. Well, Welland is not. Welland is that. <laughs> yeah. If you want to work in Welland, I must say you should be ready to work for menial jobs because you can get like driver for like skip the dishes or like a housekeeper yeah. or cleaner. Yeah, but you have to have certification to do the house. <laughs> oh my god, yeah. Some and even Canadian ask you. Experience. Yeah. For cleaning. You Canadian understand? experience for cleaning? What the? <laughs> well, that happened to me when I was applying. <laughs> <laughs> they were what's required it's Canadian experience and mm. some cleaning certifications. Yeah. Tell them you have the experience of cleaning the house in Canada, your own house. And that's already a plus. <laughs> <laughs> they already know that. Yeah, I don't know. They, I feel like they they put us down, or because we're international, or maybe the, maybe these people haven't traveled overseas yet. That's why that's how they treat us. Uh, I don't know. They feel like our skills are subpar, but no, we're the greatest here, right? I don't know. I feel lucky I didn't get that kind of job. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was I was a cleaner. That's my first job here in Canada. <laughs> so that's it, guys. Um, we urgently um, recommend you to have really strong connections here in Welland because that's how things work here. Like to get a job, to get settled down, to to give you the things that you you would need so everything or otherwise i would suggest you connect with the churches connect they with are, the churches yeah they are really helpful. they're really helpful um, they can help you settle down otherwise yeah. we would suggest you to live in the falls or safe country <laughs> yeah so overall we suggest well and for those who want quiet life that's it thanks guys for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe her. <laughs> Bye from me and Malvina. Bye. By the way, she's from Albania. Yeah.
Yeah. <laughs> She's my classmate. Bye-bye. Bye. And bye for me, baby. Bye-bye.